Hi guys, it's Simulsi here. So welcome to another apartment renovation. It has been a little while since I have done one of these. So I am definitely really excited to do another one. Apartments are one of my favorite things to build in The Sims. I just have so much fun renovating the layout and decorating them. It's just like my favorite thing to do. So hopefully you guys will like the way this apartment turns out. It is uh, two bedrooms and one bathroom. I did decide to design it for a couple of roommates. You could definitely renovate this to be a family apartment if you would like to, or they could just be I don't know, whatever household that you imagine living here. But I really wanted to do something for roommates because with The Sims 4 Discovery University, we got a new feature that allows us to play with roommates that are actually not a part of our household. So up until this point, we've been able to have roommates, but you have to control them. They're in your household. So they're basically, you know, part of your family. You share a household fund, all of that kind of stuff. But now with Discover University, you can send, send out an ad for a roommate and somebody will show up. And honestly, I haven't played around with it too much, so I can't explain it in like full detail. But from what I understand, you can just send out an ad, somebody will show up and either you accept them to be your roommate or not and then they will give you some money when rent is due or when the bills are due anything like that so i think it's super cool i've wanted roommates in the game for a very long time i honestly did not really expect them to come with discover university so that was something i was really excited to see and definitely something i want to play around with but you guys know I never make time for gameplay, but if I do, roommates is something I definitely really want to try out because I think it's such a cool feature. And yeah, I think it really makes the pack. I mean, that's not true. There's a lot of things that make the pack because I mean, I really like the build and buy. I think the create a sim is probably the best create a sim that we have ever got. It's so nice. Like everything is so good. Like I was just going through and doing a create a sim and I was wanting to use items from Discovery University and I never want to do that. Usually when I'm doing a create a sim, I strictly am like using only CC. I mean, I still had myself just use CC because that's what I wanted the video to be, but um, that'll be coming up at some, at some point, hopefully in the next day or so. Um, but yeah, I was really finding myself reaching for those items because they're really good like I made this like athletic girl and I gave her the sneakers from that pack because they're better than any CC sneakers I have <laughs> so yeah they're amazing and of course going to university and having dorms and the world all of that stuff is amazing but the feature for having roommates to me is just so cool and even if I wasn't interested in all that other stuff I think it just is such a good like feature to have in the game that it makes uh, the pack that much more special for me. So anyways, I've really been wanting to do something to celebrate that and building something for roommates um, is something I want to do and I thought an apartment would be perfect. I definitely want to do some houses for roommates, but I do have a lot of the homes for my save file mostly finished. It is a lot of community lots that I have to do at least for the base game worlds, because like I've mentioned recently, I'm trying to get the base game worlds kind of put together. That way I can release some sort of like early version of my save file pretty quickly. I don't exactly want to say when, but yeah, I'm trying to get something put together. That way you guys can play with an early version of my save file because we keep, we keep getting more worlds and it's just becoming a bigger and bigger project. So who knows how long it's gonna take me. And I know some of you guys are eager to play in my save. So I'm putting together an early release version and that will be all of the base game worlds and anything that I have. I don't know, what do you guys think I should do? Cause I have all of Brindleton Bay finished. So I'm thinking about including any worlds that I have completely finished and and then updating it once I complete more worlds. I don't know if I should update it every time I complete a world or wait till I have like a couple to add to it because I feel like that's gonna get a bit annoying to have to constantly re-download a save file. So let me know what you guys think about that. And yeah, any opinions or ideas you have, just please let me know because I'm trying to get it figured out so I can share something with you guys as soon as possible. But anyways, here you can see I'm decorating the living room. Oh, I haven't even talked about like the style and stuff. So I went into this apartment wanting to do something that's more like 
bohemian style. I mean, it's not like bohemian with a bunch of crazy colors, but more of this like, I don't know exactly how to call it. It's like a toned down boho. I've done this style a couple of different times. I think mostly only in apartments, but it's one of my most favorite styles ever. <laughs> like when I look at Pinterest and I see interior design, anytime I see these like light wood boho interiors with like a bunch of plants, it's just like, it's so beautiful and I always become completely obsessed. So I thought doing a roommate's apartment in this style would be perfect, especially with, you know, some of the objects that we have in game, even some of the new objects that we got with Discover University. Now I only use like a few items from that pack because not all of them really suit this style, but like the plants definitely suit this style. And other than that, I did use a lot of Jungle Adventure, uh, I think some seasons and get famous and city living and a bunch of random stuff like I really did not restrict myself. I have been wanting to do another base game build because it's been a while since I've done one and I always get tons of requests to do them. So that's definitely something that's on my mind to do as well. So yeah, we will see what happens. But here I'm decorating the bathroom. It's the only bathroom in the apartment. So the roommates will have to share and yeah, I didn't think that was too big of a deal. I did try or did think about um, trying to fit in some ensuite bathrooms, but I decided to give them walk-in closets instead because I thought that was, I don't know, a little bit more exciting than bathrooms. <laughs> and since I only imagine two Sims living here, one bathroom is probably fine. And then over here at the entryway, I tried to make this entryway a little bit more private from the rest of the apartment. Sometimes when I build in these apartments, uh, I think it's the Medina Studios is where I'm building. Either way, you can see the address on the top left hand side of the screen. So you guys know exactly where I'm building this apartment. But in this particular apartment building, the doors have windows on them, which I feel like is a bit strange for an apartment building. And so sometimes I do put curtains over these doors just to add the illusion of privacy. So I decided just to make kind of a narrow entryway. It sort of makes a little bit of privacy. Um, but here I wanted to fit a side table in the entryway, but I decided to move it here in the more open hallway because I thought it would be perfect to put a bicycle next to the front door because now that we have bikes from Discovery University, like as soon as I saw them, I was like, I am going to use them in apartments always and forever from now on. And I'm going to put them, basically, I want just to be able to put them by front doors. And so as soon as I remembered, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I have to do. And it just looks so good. Like, I feel like if I was a Sim living in San Myshuno, I would probably ride my bike as much as possible because it'd probably be the easiest way to get around. Maybe like, you know, the bus and taxis and those types of things. But just getting to places that are close, just ride your bike. It would be like, yeah, for me, that's what I would want to do. So, and I just love the look of bicycles in apartments. I watch a lot of um, apartment renovations. It's one of my favorite things to watch people build. And I've seen a lot of them that are done with CC and I've seen CC bike decorations and people use them in apartments. And I've always been so jealous and I've thought about downloading the CC, but you know, then I would never build with it. I would just have it. <laughs> and so I didn't really think there was much of a point of it. But now that we have them in game, I can like live out that fantasy of putting them in apartments. This is such a weird thing to talk about. Um, but anyways, here I'm decorating the first bedroom. This bedroom actually took me a while to put together. But as I was decorating it, I was trying to think of the personality and the sim that I imagined living in this room. Um, now, I didn't choose one to be like the sim that I would think would be your sim or the sim that I would play with. I tried to just decorate both of them equally and you guys can choose which one fits your sim better. And then hopefully the other room suits your roommate or you can redecorate it to suit your roommate better. But anyway, so as I was decorating it, I was thinking that this could be a bedroom for a sim who loves uh, photography. They probably do it professionally and I figured that they were more into wildlife photography. So I use some of those pictures that we have from Island Living of like the underwater pictures. And I also use this photo above their desk of like, you know, a nice beach scenery. I think it's a picture of Sulani. And so I figured they were either from Sulani or they're just completely obsessed with that world because 
They just love the ocean and wildlife. And for whatever reason, they're here living in the city. Maybe that's just because that's where they can get the most work. And, you know, it just kind of is financially the better choice. I don't know exactly how you want to play it. Of course, that's totally up to you. But, you know, these are just things that I think of while I'm decorating. So maybe they would love to go live in the you know, by the beach and maybe they're thinking about just throwing their entire city life away and just running off, getting a shack by the beach and just taking pictures and maybe finding somebody that they could spend the rest of their days with in the ocean, not in the ocean, by the ocean. <laughs> Unless they're a mermaid, of course, then you could probably have them live in the ocean. That would be so cool if you were a mermaid and you could actually swim down into like a secret mermaid cove, kind of like, Ariel's dad's palace or something. I mean, of course it doesn't have to be that elaborate, but something that they could go to would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> but unfortunately, they don't have anything like that and they have to live in regular houses. I mean, you can have them sleep in the water, so I guess you could have them live in the water. Maybe I should do like a mermaid cove build. I've seen a few people do them and some like pictures and they're really cool and very creative. So maybe I'll do something like that in Sulani for my save. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do that or, I don't know. I think it'd be fun. I'll probably do it. But anyways, this room has basically came together. This room is such a struggle for me. As you guys could probably tell, I moved the furniture quite a bit and I just really struggled with picking out artwork and how I wanted the bed to be and like the, basically the arrangement of furniture and stuff. Sometimes it's just really difficult and this was one of those rooms. I did move the photography equipment over by the door, but I do have to move that again because I realized the shelf part sticks out and blocks the door. So I do move that later. But moving on into the last bedroom or the second bedroom, however you wanna say it. So in this one, same as the last one, I was trying to think of a story for the sim as I was decorating. This one I didn't really come up with as like an elaborate of a story. I didn't really think about so many details like I did the previous one and I'm not exactly sure why that is. I still really like this room and I really like like the character I was thinking of and I was thinking that this sim is more into art and traveling. I mean, I think they're both into traveling so maybe they kind of share that and they've bonded over that. I don't know, it depends on if you wanna play if they've known each other a long time or I mean, even if they've known each other a long time or they've just recently met, they could have bonded over traveling at any point. So I guess that's totally up to you guys. But yeah, I really like that idea. And basically I came up with the traveling thing because of the bulletin board decoration that I use above their desk. It has that picture of the map and a few sort of items that look like a, you know, a sim sort of tracking where they've been or where they wanna go. And I think that is so cute. That's probably my favorite swatch of that bulletin board. I love all the swatches. There's this one, there's the one that's more like sports related. And then there's one that looks like it's probably like a calendar where they're saving like party dates. So it's more of like a party board. I wish there was more because <laughs> I like it so much that I would have loved more variety, but either way, it's. It's amazing. And I also put a bicycle in here. So the one by the front door, I did imagine belonged to the other Sim. And they each have their own computer desk. This one, I decided to give them an actual desktop instead of a laptop. They don't have their own uh, bookcase. And that was basically because I didn't really have the room for it. And I decided to put an art easel in here instead. So they have that. And I also used that string of light decorations, like flowers. And I put it there in front of the walk-in closet. Hopefully it doesn't block it. I will test it before I upload it to the gallery because I was so so excited with the way that looked. I thought it was so cute. And hopefully if it blocks it, it's an easy fix and I can just like adjust them slightly and everything will work fine. And then they of course have their own dresser and next to it is the art easel. And then I use this side table of art supplies and I merge it into the dresser. And I thought that looked really good because it looks more just like a tray with their art supplies sitting on it. But anyways, here I'm just making the final few changes to the build and then we're going to be going on to the screenshots. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope you guys do enjoy screenshots. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. How I wish that I could phrase What I'm feeling for you now As the world is waking up And you rest on my arm How I wish that I might be 
took some of your load Be the silence in your stone I'll be right there ever long How I wish you realized Just how wonderful you are When you wear that crooked smile Going right to my heart How I wish that you could know How your words light up my day You're the silence in my 